All right, this is my video on making Sharps uh, cartridges for the uh, 54 caliber Sharps carbon. And what we have in front of us is a, some of the items you're going to need to do this. One is uh, good old Elmer's glue. Everybody has this. You're going to need some of this. Another is some type of loading blocks to put the paper tubes in some fingernail polish or super glue. I choose fingernail polish. It's a bit cheaper. Of course your Go X 3F or Swiss or whatever type of black powder you want to use, but I use this. It works for me. You're going to need a, a dowel, approximately um, you know, 45 caliber, 45.45 in diameter. Your uh, 54 caliber bullet that you've pre-made out of a big chunk of lead. Some of the square uh, curler paper. You can buy this 200 for a dollar. It's a lot better than cutting it yourself. A 45 caliber punch. This is a hammer one. You can get a press one too. This is from um, buffalowarms.com. Some paper. This is for the wadding. Obviously, you can see I've used it. This is you put it on this board here, and the punch, and hit it with a hammer, and this is what comes out. And that's our that's our 45 caliber wad that we're going to be using. And of course, after you do that, you end up with a bunch of this. So we just throw that away. Uh, you're going to need some lube. This is uh, Wild Puppy Skirmish Lube from uh, BallAccuracy.com. That's where you can get this. You're going to need uh, paper tubes. Basically, it's a 1.2 inch tube. Um, this is from, I get them 300 at a time from uh, Charlie's Tubes pre-cut, ready to go. I don't have to cut anything. Really nice. And um, you know, you're going to need various funnels and a dipper. The dipper I use is 2.5 cc's. That's my load for the sharps and a funnel to put in the tubes. Alright. So the next segment will be uh, assembling the little tubes. All right, let's get to assembling the tube. So I have my tube. It's hollow, as you can see, nothing in it. Take my uh, Q-tip. I've cut the end off because I don't like dealing with the uh, cotton part. Stick it in my Elmer's glue. Run it around the inside like so. Just get a little bit of glue on the inside. Take my tube, put it down like that. My little piece of square curler paper. Put it over the end. Center it. My 45 caliber dowel. Push it down. Take it out. And that's it. Set this guy aside to dry. Repeat the process multiple times. And eventually you'll end up with, I do this 16 at a time because that's what the, the loading block there holds. Easy, just put it down, put it in, there you go. That's it. Nice good seal there. No powder will leak out. Just keep doing that till you get 16 of them. Then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, as you can see, we have 16 tubes full of, uh, it's about 42 grains of uh, 3F black powder. So what I do then is I take my, uh, remember that hole punch I showed you earlier in, in the uh, paper? Well, what I do is I keep it in a, you know, pill container, make it easier. Of course, empty the pills out and then just dump a bunch of these out. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to use them to keep the powder in place, right? So I just take them. 
slide them over each one you know, make sure they're straight going straight not sideways the idea is to keep the powder compressed a little bit uh, so we're going to you know, put them through each one that's why these loading blocks come in handy it holds it nice and firm and doesn't let it bounce around and the powder fall out so that's why I like these little wooden ones you can make this yourself you know at a Home Depot or whatever buy a piece of wood drill some holes in it but I tend to buy my stuff because building anything. Alright, so put all 16 wads on. We're going to take our little handy dowel again. Multiple uses. Just go in and compress the powder a little bit. That's all it takes. It's a little bit of compression. Make sure everything's nice and tight. You, know, you don't want to push it so hard the powder comes out the paper end on the other side that you just glued on. But obviously with the powder compressed you're going to have a better ignition. Then once you do that, I take my handy Elmer's glue, squeeze this a little bit, drop a little bit of glue in there and hold that in place. Set it aside to dry. This stops the, uh, the, the rounds turned upside down, it stops the powder from pushing the, the wad, because it's not in there very tight, it's not a tight fit, so I'll do a little bit of Elmer's glue to hold it in place while you're messing around with the bullets. Again, you can use it, you know, a lot of people do the sharps with loose powder. I did that for many years. It didn't really work too well. This, this method works very well. Pretty pleased with it. This is all it takes. You don't have to run glue around the whole inside. Just one of the corners just to get the little disc to stay in place once it dries. That's all it takes because uh, it's not like you're going to be keeping these for years and years and years. Um, you know, the whole purpose of this is go to the match and shoot and that's it. So they don't have a very long lifespan, these little tubes. I'm using an old pie tin here to hold the glue in. These things are multi-purpose for epoxy. See how that came up and I can just push it down. It's good. Um, the thing about these, uh, making it this way, is when you fire the whole uh, tube and everything goes down the barrel, so there's nothing left. It's a fairly clean operation. So far I haven't had any problems with any of the tubes remaining in the barrel. Okay, so now we've um, glued all the discs in. What you can do is you can let them dry or you can do like I do, which is go right to the next step, which is bullets and uh, the uh, fingernail polish. You know, once I put this on here, I'm not planning on turning around. I'm going to let it dry, so everything will dry at that time. Fingernail polish, just put it on the lip of the bullet right here. Just run it around, bead around. Uh, use uh, fingernail polish, not Elmer's glue on this, so that um, it doesn't uh, it, it, it fractures in the, in the uh, it breaks away cleanly from the paper and doesn't go down range with the uh, you know with the, the round and throw it off balance so you know if I pre weighed all these bullets prior that's another key thing make sure they all weigh the same or close to the same that really helps with accuracy and I just kind of pop on there some are tighter fits than others but you get the idea here straightforward. Pretty tedious, boring part. Sometimes it won't seat right, but you know it doesn't have to be pretty because just remember this is all all going in the breech. As soon as you pull the trigger, it's gonna all disappear, so it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to fit. use super glue during this application too but like I said super glue is much ex more expensive nail polish and you don't want to glue your fingers together either all right well I'm gonna finish the rest and then we'll go on to the next step all right so I've gone ahead and 
use the fingernail polish to uh, get the bullets on the end of the tubes. We have the paper on the back, powder in the middle, and the wide holding the powder in place. So, the thing wants to do is lube the bullets. Now, this is not something you have to do now. You could do this before you shoot or whatever. But this again is the uh, Wild Puppy lube from uh, ballaccuracy.com <laughs> real simple to do this just take your uh, pre-made bullet dip it in real quick take it out put it back in the thing let it dry and proceed to the next one and uh, just go on down the line and do this now don't panic if you drop the whole bullet in there like I've done um, I'm pretty sure it will still work as long as the powder doesn't get wet didn't, so it should be fine. Uh, what this does is, you know, lube. Anybody who shoots black powder knows that you need to use some form of lube to keep the barrel from getting miserably fouled. It helps it uh, to clean better and make everything go down range smoother. And it's just all around benefit. Um, if you don't use lube, you can get lead fouling bullet is still going to come out, but your accuracy is going to be affected because you've got crap in the barrel. So, you can see it's pretty straightforward, and what you end up with is a nice bullet ready to go. The only thing you have to do now is um, when you go to the range and it's your turn to shoot, you know, this block of wood here is going in my pouch, my carbon uh, pouch. So, this is way it goes. I, I go to the line with 16 bullets in the pouch and two loose ones on top because I only hold 16 so I go with 18 and uh, all you do before you go on the line is you poke a hole in the back here to get through this paper and that exposes the uh, powder and uh, that way when you pull the trigger the cap, the fire from the cap actually has a chance to get to the uh, powder and ignite it. It's real simple to do, just, you know, in the back here, take something, anything you want. I'm going to use a screwdriver. A toothpick works well. Just uh, poke a hole. Now when you pull the trigger, fire from the cap goes in there and ignites it. So you get back, you didn't shoot all your rounds for one reason or another. You're like, oh, powder's going to leak out. Well, no, it won't, because you use and you get any scotch tape here. Just tape over that guy till next time. So now you just remove the tape and you're ready to go. That's all there is to it.